Previously on Project Retro Rally. I will be driving this car in the AVD Histo Monta. We are going to be turning this into a classic rally car. And then you can see how much work there is left to do. And then we are going to be installing this rally computer. Oh, Lean over. please, please, Lean please. Over. There we go. Better to stop. Welcome back to Behind the Build, where you find me not in the garage, but out in the wild, because today is test day. You can see how I got on behind the wheel of Heinrich over on the Car Throttle channel. But what we're going to do today is to find out more about the rally. And to do that, I need to speak to the man in charge, Peter. So Peter, tell me about the history of the rally. How did it first come about? Well, the first Histomont uh, started in 1993 and it was a part of the Rally Monte Carlo, the modern Rally Monte Carlo. The reason was very easy. Uh, during the start of Rally Monte Carlo in Bad, in Bad Homburg, there are only 50 competitors with modern cars. And the Automobile Club uh, think about to have more fun, more spectators. Maybe we invite some historic cars. So they invite, 50 are coming. And uh, the first leg was 10 km and that was it. And the competitors say, hey, we want to go more with our historic cars. It was big fun. The second step was they make a loop to Germany but they stop in front of the border. But the competitors say, hey, we want to go more. We want to have the fun of Monte Carlo. And in 1998, the first Avoir de Histo Monte goes straight, like the modern rally, on the footsteps in Monte Carlo. And this year, there are 90 competitors, aren't there? Yeah, it's the first time that we are 90 cars going to Monte Carlo, the biggest group ever in the history. I'm very happy. And we have some very interesting cars. We have Lancia Stratos, we have for sure some Porsche, but uh, we have uh, Trabant, the German Trabant. <laughs> yeah. um, we have Lancia Fulvia, we have Volkswagen, we have Audi Quattro, Lancia Delta. So we have many, many interesting cars. And we have the most important one. And the most important one for sure. Uh, his first Histomonte. So we will see. And uh, Peter, you've been out in Heinrich, you know his nuances. What do you think are our chances of actually finishing the rally? The question is, what do you mean with finishing? Finishing first or finishing in Monte Carlo, in the harbour? I think second is possible. The first one, difficult. I'll take, I'll take second, but overall you think the car's good, the car's strong, and you're confident that I'll be able to make it? I'm sure, yes. And Monte Carlo is waiting for you. Tell me also about the route. It's quite a big one this year, isn't it? Uh, it's a big one. We are nearly 1,900 kilometer. First two days we go to Germany and then we cross the border to Switzerland. Then we go to France. Most of the time, more kilometers in, in, in France. Then we go to Italy and the fifth country. And the last is Monte Carlo. It's a long day. The last, the longest day, I think it's 580 kilometers. So you are driving a lot. You have one hour lunch and then you are driving again until it's getting dark. So oh, man. not so easy, but <laughs> this is the Rally Monte Carlo and the people are during the rally want to have exactly this. What's the highlight going to be for us as drivers, as competitors? I think the highlight is for sure the Colle Turini, the biggest mountain, the most important, the best stage ever in, in rally sport. And we'll be using physical navigation maps. What happens if we get lost? Uh, I think this is not the problem because we have now GPS connection in every car. So if you are going lost and you have no connection with your mobile phone, we will find you by GPS. The last skill you have to master to compete in a historic rally is understanding the roadbook, which consists of pages of detailed maps that we'll have to follow without error. Because if we do make a mistake, Satnav won't know which route we need. Anyway, it's time that Peter explains it to me. So Alex, this is one page of the big roadbook of Afa de Histomonte, one page of 203 pages. Yeah, when you say big over, roadbook. Ah, it's a big one, but it's uh, the roadbook of 2017, so not the actual one, but this is an example of the stage, the most important stage of the rally sport in the world, the Col de Turini. We drive as well yes. with the historic cars. 
and you see many many hairpins on the road of 8,74 km and you can imagine to drive an average speed of 46. It sounds slow but yeah. it is really fast even if you have snow and ice on the road. That's about 25 miles an hour, which when you're on hairpins is very difficult. Yes. I know that from experience. Yes. Anyway, uh, what are all these signs? What am I looking at here? These signs in means that this is the way you come into this map, this page. Um, the first kilometer is the start of the stage, means 97.96 kilometer. You have to drive to the start of stage. You make your trip meter to zero mm -hmm. and then you start the stage. The first sign is by 1.07 kilometer. The second sign is by 3.60. And the finish of the stage is by 8.74 kilometer at the edge of the house. And um, there's obviously signs for cameras here. Does that mean that I can just stop and yeah. take some pics? This is not for you. This is for the photographers, for the film team to make the big shots of you Got it. if you climb the hill. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. And these bits here as well? This is a good view from there. If you have the time to look outside, not on the road, to the scenery, you can do it there. And how likely is that I'll have the time? You have no time. Okay, let's ignore that then. But the roadbook looks more perfect. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so Alex, I explain you a lot in the big roadbook. Many, many pages. And the finish is the harbour of Monaco to have the champagne. I hope I explain enough. Now it's your turn. Good luck in Istomonte. Thanks. I'll see you there. Champagne. And what I have to do now is explain all of this to Carl Hines. So there we have it. I'm finally prepared and ready to race. Join us next week in the final Behind the Build, where we'll be knee deep in snow and hopefully no flames. Make sure you subscribe to the Mercedes-Benz channel for the epic finale.